Korean barbecue spots are everywhere in Singapore, which makes it hard to find super authentic ones. Follow us as we discover three pretty authentic and unique Korean barbecue spots that are worth your money. Food finders! Today, we're gonna have Korean barbecue, my favorite meal, like all the time. I think Jen has been missing mm. in this season's episode of Fire. What, what, what have you been busy with? Like, I've been very busy um, opening a few more stores for Sour Bomb, but it's been really fun. Do you find it hard to find authentic KBBQ restaurants in Singapore? I think in Singapore, because there's such a high demand, right? I think it has evolved into like a very authentic experience, and you can actually find quite a lot of good KBBQ places around Singapore. Why do you think KBBQ is so popular among Singaporeans? It's kind of like steamboat. We like to share our food. It's just the Chinese way. With a KBBQ setting, you don't get to like dip your meat into like soup, which is sometimes a bit boring. It's like a bonding It's session. a bonding thing, yeah. Okay. So without further ado, I'm super hungry for lunch and we're gonna go for our first KBBQ spot. We are here at Ho Hang. Korean seafood restaurant which is very highly anticipated by me because I've always wanted to try Korean seafood. We always know like sashimi from Japan, sauces and everything but Korean, what's the difference? I really want to try. There's abalone, there is octopus. Oh my god, look at this little guy. Hello. I cannot, I cannot create a relationship with them. The more I look at them, the more I cannot eat. So look, I don't know. Bye bye. Hi, Guanling. Welcome to my handbook. There is so much food on the table. Can I have some explanation of like uh, each seafood that we are tasting? This one flat fish. Flat fish. Yeah, this one tuna. Oh. This one salmon. Okay. This one also salmon. This one yellow tail. So they have like a million side dishes on the side. It's definitely very value. I can see bring a big group of friends here just to have a feast. So all this seafood you got from Korea? Yeah, and this one tuna and uh, Mexico. Mexico? Tuna from Mexico. Yeah. Okay, okay. What's the difference between Korean seafood and Japanese seafood? Class. <laughs> Class? Yeah. Class. Korean more better. Oh my gosh, burn! <laughs> Jen tries live octopus for the first time. Now? Oh first my gosh, Seth! The moment we want to eat it, it's moving more. Le. It's stuck to the yeah, yeah. plate! Okay, okay, cheers! Look at this. Cheers, I'm so sorry, octopus. Can you see your face? <laughs> oh, you started sucking my tongue! This is not the type of piercing I want, eh? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Seth Louis ASMR Mokbang series. I hope that you enjoy all the munching noises. So first we have salmon from Pohang. So he say it's better than the Japanese counterpart, which I don't believe. So sprinkled in this piece is... Sprinkled. It's a few pieces of pork because boss man said that we have to link it back to KBBQ. This is supposed to be a KBBQ episode. Yeah, but then it became like a... Okay, but they also have grilled meats. They very conveniently grill outside on a pan. Gee, if I'm not wrong, the outdoors one, they do uh, have a grill outside. But the indoor one is they grill and then you bring mm. it in. I think let's go back to the seafood. Yeah. <laughs> There's acorn jelly. For some reason, I thought it would be sweet. It's like agar agar but with soy sauce. Okay. So this is a vegetable spicy lemon. Oh, it's so sweet. It's a fruit punch with vegetable and noodles inside. Let's try all the sashimi. Super silky fish. I think the, the more well-known sashimi is the flat fish. It tastes like a fish version of like the raw octopus. So there's a very customary thing where you make your own rice ball. Okay, I'm gonna try abalone. Abalone? I, I saw like it's so fresh in the tank just now. Oh, wow. Is it a bit bitter or is it just me? No, it's super crunchy. It looks like a ah. alien in nuts. You should try it. No. Try it. Let's try move it. on to the ganjang kitchen. No, try it. 
but it's very bitter eh. Yeah, there's just like bitter aftertaste. It tastes a bit like guts. The aftertaste lingers them long. <laughs> Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. They are very uh, proud of their ganjang gejang. Ooh, very bright and the crab is very creamy. You know what this feels like? It feels like a seafood lollipop. Like that people just get sucking. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> I prefer the ganjang gejang. It has like a raw taste. The sauce like not as wu mm. or the spicy. Uh. I'm gonna give the flat fish another chance. I'm gonna put it in the soup. Cook flat fish. Mm. <laughs> So much better, guys! It is so sweet when it's cooked and it's so tender. Oh, I love it, eh! If you're a fan of pigging out a shit ton of seafood and sashimi, this is the place to be. I would say that if you're looking for a K barbecue experience, this is not the place, lah. Sorry. Green <laughs> China. So now we are here at Rochester Park and we are visiting Chingu's. So if you want to have your pet smelling like KBBQ, this is the perfect spot because it's pet friendly. So it's housed in a very beautiful black and white colonial building. And we're going to head up to see what they have to offer. What we have is the butcher cut set, which is a new uh, Korean BBQ platter. The banchan is free flow, right? Yes, because I saw they had like this banchan station. So it's free flow, but it's not self service. <laughs> you get butler service. So whenever you want extra banchan, you can just like, mm -hmm. hello. This is a Spanish pork actually, and it eats chestnuts for this pork. Question I heard like, oh, there's yuzu pork. That means the pigs has been eating yuzu. Am I supposed to taste? What the pig eat or I think in, in theory what they eat then you know it will absorb into the body. Like you la. Are what you eat, yeah. Kind of then we have the uh, marinated beef ribs here. This one's from US. Black Angus hanging tender steak. Finally we have the Wagyu. Yes. Oh it's really hot guys. Wow. Oh actually you can really smell the wood. And we also have the duck chain in front of me, steam eggs which is actually my go-to for every K barbecue. You need to have steam eggs. You don't need rice, you need eggs. Well, I'll let the yeah. grill master handle the meat. I trust you. Thank you. So if not nice, I come for you. <laughs> While he's grilling the hanger, you wanna, you wanna try, your, try, try. Uh, try the wagyu? Okay, I put beef, and then I have to put sauce. It's either sauce or salt. And then I have to put kimchi. The acidity, will cut through the fattiness of the meat. And then this is a mandatory I need garlic. I don't add... You really taste like Hokkaido beef. Eh? can taste the snow, is it? The hanger steak. I'm going to try a cut that's slightly more rare. Flabby. When it's a bit more rare, it's more tender. Whereas like, when you cook too much, it will like ruin the whole texture. From just now, the flavour was like more buttery and irony. Whereas this one is like a bit more cooked, right? It's still tender, but it has more like a smoked beefy flavour. I like it when the meat is still bleeding. So we're gonna try the samgyetang in a very beautiful, very Korean golden bowl. <laughs> I like chicken soup that is not seasoned. Because you really can taste the essence of the chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ginseng taste is very subtle but palatable. They cook it with the glutinous rice. It makes the soup a bit thicker. thicker. Is that, oh my god, pineapple? The pineapple. Yes, pineapple. This one I think oyster mushroom, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Pineapple and uh, cheese, mozzarella square. Mozzarella oh. square. Cooking tip. If you add any acidic or like fruits with a lot of enzymes, pineapple, pear, then you blend it up, then you marinate your beef, right? It'll denature the proteins and then it'll become like really soft and tender. No. Okay, the most popular cut of meat they did like a crisscross cut on the pork itself. So what it does is that it makes it even more crispier. Mm. Did you just put the cheese on top of the pork? Oh my god. So you layer like the pineapple on top of the cheese on top of the pork belly. It's like eating a burger. Like a wine. Mm. <laughs> Hawaiian pizza. We say our favorites in one, two, three. Ready? Come on. Two. Two. Set. Hanging Hang another. Ah, yeah. Oh my god! 
that this is actually a very tricky thing. You need to cut like against the grain also. Correct. The way it was presented also mm. plays a very big part in how it tastes. With the other cuts of meat, it's very obvious. Some gulps out is just you crispy pork. <laughs> Hokkaido beef is Hokkaido beef, right? The hanger cut is something that when you cook it really well, it tastes like really different from whatever you've been tasting. Yep. So if you're ever at Chingu's at Rochester Park, I think you should really go for this set. Butcher the cut butcher set. So set. it's specially selected by the chefs and you know, you can have a really good time here. Last stop, Oma, Korean charcoal barbecue. I can still stuff a bit more food inside, so I'm very hoping that they have some interesting meats for me to try. Let me quickly explain what Oma is about. This is their latest outlet in Teluk Ayer. They actually have a very interesting concept, changeable wood chips. Five dollars to change the chips, yeah, okay. but the, the smokiness of the chips will affect the meat. That's all the info I have. We'll leave for you to... I'm getting you to pay. I'm gonna change all five. Cherry wood, hickory, apple wood, pecan. Ooh, pecan. So we actually have three flow beer for at least 90 minutes all day. At most 90 minutes. Got at least 90 minutes. <laughs> at most 90 minutes with minimum expenditure of $35 sink. Yeah, to talk about the uh, banchan. Actually, the past two stores, right? The banchan didn't wow me. Though. And the kimchi was quite not the type I like. This one looks like the type I like. Not really my style, but this one is like the freshly mixed kind. And I was very intrigued by this thing. Different salts, oh and boy. you have smoked sea salt, Himalaya, flake pepper berry, Oma pepper. So all the meat is here, and all the side dishes is here. And you have a steamed egg, and a choice of soup. Actually for me, like the most exciting part about KBBQ is that I get to sear my own meat. So at this place, they encourage you to sell your own meats, but they also offer to do it for you. I want to grill my own meat. Oh god, it's so aesthetic eh. So this one is hickory. Yes, this is a hickory wood. It's like the fluffiest of the three places. I like yeah. it more than the mozzarella egg. Mm. Hey chef, burning already. Wet though, wet. <laughs> wow. I like my meat to have some grill marks. I'm gonna try the beef short ribs. I think I can cook it lesser. <gasps> Why the pancake oh is so big? The pancake is huge. Oh my god, but it looks so good. Like it's the super crispy nice. kind. Mm. It has like a super nice crisp and there's a lot of seafood. There's a like a pe pecan pecan. Mm -hmm. Cherry. Ch huh? Cherry? Mm -hmm. Cherry. Anyway, so this is <laughs> cherry wood. <laughs> okay. Help me cook the meat. Thank you. <laughs> this one, the cherry. I feel like it's not as smoky. With cherry wood and not cooked by me. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better? Realization. I feel hickory was really smoky, but the cherry was like lighter smoke. So it depends on the intensity of the smokiness, I feel. Thank you. Can we change to the pecan? Pecan, pecan wood, yeah. I can't really see the wood also. So I don't know how much they cook. Third wood change. Pecan wood. That smells different though. And it's not as strong as hickory. I like this last piece the best for reasons I can't explain. It just tastes better. That'd be the wood. I think I know why. Tastes more beefy. Is it the wood? Maybe the wood make it beefier. Yeah. It's like more buttery. The pork is nicer also. The pork tastes better. No. Mm, but it makes it taste nicer. Yeah, the first two, about the same. Conclusion of this meal is that you can choose your wood chips and then you can decide which one you want. You may not smell it, but you can definitely taste it. So, da -da 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 -da, what's your favourite wood? One, two, three, pika. So we're gonna wrap up here, the last stop of our day, and we're gonna see what are the hits and misses for the day. Okay, we have finished all three K barbecues for the day. Favorite is my friend, 
My chingu. Oh, chingu means red? Yeah. Ah, oh my god. Pabo. Chingu is not that common. Chingu really? is so common. Oh my god. I don't know, I yeah, so chingu was my favorite K barbecue place. The meats that they offered were really diverse. It's a place that I would go back with my friends and family just to like try their variety of their butcher's cut. The samgetang is like calling to me. Like, I feel like when I would just want a warm soup to like hug me, I would think of their samgetang. In terms of like the most unique experience, it will be the Pohang seafood butchery. Not really a K barbecue, but if you have pescatarian friends, you can recommend to them Pohang. Their varieties of seafood is also insane. So we've finished the K barbecue series. Let us know if you want to try any very specific cuisines in Singapore. Just like and comment down below your favourite cuisines and what we should try on next. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Alice will edit me well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, bull's eye guys. If I get bull's eye and buying me soju. Sure. Sure. Free flow beer. <laughs> Then you have to at least hit the board. <laughs>